I go to a hotel or motel. You know what I do when I walk in? I put my bag up on top of something high. Put my shoes up on top of something high. And then I tear that room apart. <laughs> I flip the mattress up, look around all the edges. I flip the box screen up, and you know what we look for in box screens? You know they have those little plastic things stapled to each end? I look inside those, I'll bend them back. I'll, then I'll set that up. I'll look inside the box spring around all the edges. And then I start taking the headboard apart. Then I pull the TV out, everything out of the furniture. I flip it upside down. I'm not laying down with bed bugs. That's what I do. Then I call the desk and say, I'm in room 401. Somebody needs to come back and make the bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not sleeping with bed bugs. And you don't know where they can be. I was at, I was at Seattle Airport. Ooh, I shouldn't have said Seattle Airport. OK, I was at SeaTac. And I was down when somebody was coming in from an international flight. She was dragging that little bag behind her. And the bed bugs were just running on the edge. And I said, ma'am, you know you have bed bugs? She said, where I come from, we have lots of bed bugs. I can share. That's exactly what she said to me. I can share. <laughs> Not with me. I just backed away. She walked right out of the place. I wondered how many were in that circular thing when the bags were dropping down at bed bugs on them. You know where you can get them? You can get them from anywhere. There's anywhere. If I shop, if I shop you know, sometimes I'll go to a, look for a set of golf clubs or something at a, you know, at a thrift store. You know what? Anything I get at a thrift store, anything anybody I know gets at a thrift store, what I tell them to do is throw it in the dryer for 15 minutes on high because if there's anything in it, it's dead. Gal said, well, I bought this, this cow or this chair. It was a chair. She said, what do I do? I said, okay, you can't throw that in the dryer. She said, no, duh. <laughs> I said, flip it upside down. I want you to seal every crack on that thing. Get some sealer. Seal it up. Then they can't, if there isn't anything, you can't get out. I said, then I'll come over and treat your, your chair with steam. Let's do something. So what can you do? Inspect. Inspection is the only way you're going to find them. The only way you know. And, yes? Will they, will they only attach box services? Or oh, no. The, you yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had a place in Missouri where they, they delivered a, like a, a $4,000 dining room set, and uh, it flipped on its side, and they saw something fall. So they went up to it and noticed that there were bed bugs in the cracks of the things, brand new piece of furniture. So yes, they can mean anything. Yeah. Travel black Matter of fact, I do. How'd you guess? Uh, I put it in my bag and I send it through and I tell them. And they've always let it go through. Somebody will steal it eventually because it's a nice black bottle. You know, just give it to me. Five minutes. I got one right here first. Yes. Right. He's saying, as, he's saying as the health department. Is it working? Yeah, you got it. Okay. So as a health department, a lot of times our role is just to provide information and recommendations that we're not going to treat. So how do we help someone choose a pest control or get them ideas on what they need to look for in a pest control operator? That's a good question. I'll tell you, find somebody. There's a lot of scoundrels out there. there. If you want today, you can go online in Seattle and find somebody that will do a guaranteed treatment for $99. They're going to take a little bit of dust in that room. They're going to take a little bit of perithrin spray in that room. And they're going to tell them, it's done. You'll never have to worry again. And then in two months when they're calling back because the bugs are all over their room, they won't answer their phone or return the call. There's a lot of people out there that just take advantage of folks. you got to get, you got to get an IPM approach. IPM is Integrated Pest Management. And what that is is you use, you use all kinds of things you inspect. Then after you find them, then you have to treat them. The treatment has to be has to be layered. We try to use the least amount of pesticides that we can. We'll we use uh, cedar oil. It kills them on contact. We use cedar oil in the wall voids in some of the places. We use steam. We use heat. And we're trying to teach other pest control companies to do the same things. And then after that, you know, you vacuum up and you find because you'll chase them out if you spray. It. And then after vacuum, you've done all that. Then you can start with your other treatments. You drill the wall void, you put some dust in there, diatomaceous earth, very safe. And then we follow up with a, 
a light chemical application so that there's something that has a residual filling and it crawls out later. If some, if a company is willing to give them that kind of service, then they're going to get rid of their bed bugs. If they don't, then in six months they're going to be calling somebody else, and they're going to keep paying and paying and paying. Yes. How soon after treatment can you reoccupy the space? Do you have to wait for that reevaluation of the space before somebody can go back in? You can, it, the, when it's dry. Space? When it's dry. When it's dry. Then it's safe to touch. <clears throat> and usually, we, we did some things at, at one place where we did one treatment, got rid of them. That doesn't always happen. I said sometimes three to five. But after we did the treatment, uh, they, they left for the day, came back the next day, everything was dry, and, and then they started putting their house back together. Yes? Um, yeah, could you address just um, bed bugs in the office? Uh, oh, yeah, one, thank you. One example, like for example, have, what, what would you recommend having for a response plan before anything might happen? And then how to react if somebody does show up with bed bugs in the office or schools? Yeah. Because you'll get that when people walk in. Or some people carry them. I'll tell you what I would do. Uh, we can develop. We can help you. Anybody develop a response plan, and we'll do that. We'll just come out and help you do it. 